Hello guys, in this video, let's create our own API and add it in APIM. So we will create ASP.NET Core Web API project in Visual Studio and we will use default weather API and we will configure Swagger as well and it is really simple. Then we will deploy this project in Azure App Service. Now guys, you don't need to know Azure App Service. Just remember that App Service is something where we can host our web app or api in azure and then we will add this weather api from azure app service in azure api management and finally we will test this api in azure api management and guys of course we can host our api in vm or we can import api from azure function as well and we will see it in our upcoming videos now guys we are in visual studio and let's create asp.net core web api next let's give name so i will say our test api next let's unselect https and here let's say create now guys our project is ready and let's expand controllers and let's open this weather forecast controller Let's go down. So guys, basically we are going to use this API only, which returns the information about weather. The only change I will make is, I will add this route, that is weather slash get weather data, so that it is more meaningful. So let's run. And obviously it won't work because we have changed the route. So here instead of this, I will say weather slash get weather data. Let's say enter. And yes, we can see the output. And now let's configure the swagger as well. So guys, basically swagger is used to document or to describe our APIs. And it is, and this information is really helpful for the consumers of our API. So let me just close this. Let's, let's install the required NuGet package. So right click on this project, manage NuGet packages, browse and here I will say swashbuckle.asp.net core. Let's select first, let's select first one and let's say install and accept. Now let's close this. And of course guys, I will add all these steps in the description of this video. That is, what is this package name? Then what are the code changes we are going to make? So all this, I will write it in the description of this video. Now let's open this program.cs. And before, and before this line, that is builder.build, let's add this line. builder.services.add swagger chain. And finally, let's add this code at line number 16. And let's save. And again, guys, I will provide this code as well as this package in the description of this video. And now let's run our project again. And again, it won't work. But now let's go to the base URL. So I will simply remove this word that is weather forecast and let's say enter. And see, now we can see the APIs available at this base URL. So it's because we have implemented Swagger, right? And again, if I, and again, if I expand this, and if I say try it out, execute, and we have executed the API and we should see the response as well. Let's go down and yes, see, the response is 200 and we can see the response body. Right. So again, let's close this. And now guys, we need to deploy this project in Azure App Service. So as of now, we don't have any Azure App Service available. So let's create it while deploying itself. So right click on this project. I will say publish. Azure. Next. And yes, we want to deploy it in Azure App Service Windows. So let's select it next. 
and of course we don't have any azure app service instance so let's create new and here i will say our first app service and guys this is important that is hosting plan so let's click on this new let's select the location as australia central let's select the size as free and let's say ok and here let's say create here let's say next and here i will say skip this step and then finish so we have our azure app service created and now let's say publish and guys can you see this it says publish is successful so let's go to the azure and let's cross check so guys we are in azure portal and here let's select app service and yes we can see the app service which we just created from visual studio so let's open it so guys we are under overview and let's say browse and yes we can see this swagger page okay and obviously we can test this api from here as well right now guys let's just copy this text please follow my mouse let's copy this text that is swagger slash v1 slash swagger dot json and let's paste it over here so let's just remove this index dot html and let's paste it over here so basically this is the open ai page which provides the open api definition for our api and we need to import this page in azure api management okay so let's go to the other tab and here i will duplicate this tab let's say home and let's open our api management service instance which we created earlier so let's open it on the left hand side let's click on this apis and guys now we want to import this api that is this api See guys, this is the open API definition of our API and our API, it has been hosted in this app service, right? So let's copy this open API definition and here let's go down and here let's select this option that is open API. See guys, again, we are in our API management service under API and here let's say open API and let's paste this URL over here. and see automatically it has fetched the display name and name from this provided url right and here basically that's it and let's say create so we have created api we deployed it in azure app service and from azure app service we have imported it in azure api management and see guys we can see this api that is our test api and under that we can see this operation as well and if i expand this yes we can see this operation that is weather slash get weather data and now let's actually test it so let's click on this and let's click on this test and let's go down let me actually maximize this here let's go down and see guys this will be our request url and and if you observe it it says our first apim so again this is the name of our api management service and the operation is weather slash get weather data so to test it let's click on send let's go down and see it says 200 okay and we have received the response as well that is weather data 